Mars, or the Red Planet, is the fourth planet from the Sun and one of the smallest. Out of most planets, it's possibly the most feasible for us to colonize, even though we'd be living in artificial life support systems. That's why we've spent so much time exploring it, all the while discovering some uh, weird things. From a gorilla to a giant crab, here are 20 strangest things spotted on Mars. Number 20, Pyramids. If you thought the vaccine debate got people riled up, you haven't heard conspiracy theorists talking about the pyramids on Mars. Now, that gets people hot under the collar. Apparently, NASA's Curiosity rover took pictures of what appear to be nearly perfect pyramids, almost like you were looking at low-quality images of Egypt. While there are plenty of rocks in the picture, there's one large triangle rock that really does look like a human-made pyramid. It's about the size of a car, but many people invested in the storyline have theorized that it perhaps goes much deeper into the surface of Mars. When people believe that aliens built the pyramids in Egypt, it's really not a far-off theory for them. This pyramid makes people think there is alien life, or at least was alien life, on the Red Planet. In saying that, there are just as many people saying it's nothing more than a natural rock that the wind has shaped. This is a pretty solid theory when you learn that similar rocks on Earth have the same nature-made shaping. But if you were to ask physicist John Brandenburg, he might be convinced that the rock is alien made. Made. John claimed that he found evidence of an ancient civilization living on the Red Planet that was wiped out in a nuclear attack by another alien race. John believes evidence of the attack is still on the planet today. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now, it's time for the star topic. After countless hours of reviewing Mars rover footage, scientists almost fell out of their chairs when they found this absurd-looking creature on Mars. To them, it looked like some kind of spindly robot striding across the red planet. They argued for hours about what it might be or whether the Mars rover camera was playing tricks on them. Is it a robotic creature of some sort? What do you think it could be? Comment down below with the hashtag star topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 19, Rodents. Rocks can take on the shapes of whatever is present in our imagination. We can see faces in them, or even think the rock's outline is an animal or something else. We do the same with potato chips and toast. So yeah, it's probably not surprising that when NASA's Curiosity rover sent back pictures to Earth of what it could see on Mars, people were quick to point out rocks that looked like other things. In one photo, people noticed what looked like a large rodent, such as a squirrel. It was positioned between two rocks, facing side onto the camera, and had an ear, eye, nose, and limb visible. The supposed rodent even appeared to be of a different texture than the rock sitting on either side of it, which added more weight to the idea that it wasn't a rock at all. People were so convinced that it was a rodent and not a rock that someone even set up a Twitter account in its name. I don't think there's Wi-Fi on Mars for the rodent to have a look at it, though. In another photo, someone spotted what they thought was a mouse. It was dark against the sandy landscape and appeared to have two ears, a mouse-like shape, and a tail. It was most likely an optical illusion, but did have people exasperated by the fact it seemed you couldn't even escape rodents by moving to Mars. Number 18. Sarcophagus People were shocked at what they were looking at when the Mars Curiosity rover sent pictures to Earth showing what looked like an Egyptian sarcophagus or tomb. The supposed Egyptian tomb stood out like a sore thumb among other Mars rocks and even had the same shaping and head narrowing that is present in the real deal. Alien hunters were quick to say that the sarcophagus was undeniable proof of an ancient alien burial ground. And look, I get it, it really does look like a tomb, but I just don't think it is. Scientists have said that when we look at the rock and see a tomb, we are experiencing pareidolia. Pareidolia is our psychological response to everyday items and faces. We see connections and patterns in unconnected data, which has happened a lot before with religious figures. I mean, have you forgotten about the Virgin Mary's face inside a grilled cheese sandwich? NASA doesn't comment on every single rock that looks like something else, but they did offer a general statement about another supposed item that was just a rock. NASA spokesperson Guy Webster said it's great that people use their imaginations when viewing images taken 
taken by the Mars rover, but as you can probably tell, they're just natural rocks. To be honest, the only places you're gonna find tombs is in Egypt and probably your local cemetery. Number 17. Gorilla. Gorillas are critically endangered here on Earth, but what's to say there aren't vast populations of them on Mars? Well, there aren't, but some people seem to think there might be at least one. A photo was uploaded to the internet from the Sol 87 of the Spirit rover mission that showed what looked to be a gorilla in the distance. Its coloring was darker than the other rocks, which is perhaps what made it stand out at first. An anonymous Mars observer said that when you add color to the photo, the features stand out more, and when you zoom in, you can see a bear-type creature or a gorilla, or even a statue of a creature. According to NASA spokesperson Guy Webster, the photo was taken in 2004 as the Spirit rover was driving southward from the Bonneville crater. The image is from the perspective of looking back to the departure tracks towards the crater, with blocky rocks around the rim. So sure, it does look like a gorilla, but it's also obviously not a gorilla. Once again, it's just that pareidolia phenomenon wreaking havoc again. Number 16. Face. Over 40 years ago, some of the first images were sent to Earth from Mars, captured from Viking 1, which was the first spacecraft to travel to Mars and land on the planet successfully. People lost their minds, not only because they got to see photos of an actual planet other than Earth, but because they could see a face rising from the dust. Could there really be life on Mars? Tabloids ran headlines like Monkey Face on Mars, and people got riled up about it. They genuinely believed that it was a sign of advanced alien life. The problem is, not everyone understood the type of life that scientists were actually looking for when they sent a spacecraft to the Red Planet. They weren't looking for little green men, and definitely not carvings of faces in rocks. They were searching for signs that possible microorganisms do exist or have existed there. When scientists took a closer look at the pictures that many people were convinced were faces, they were confident that all they were looking at were eroded rock formations like a mesa. Hilariously, though, they took high-resolution photos of that exact spot in 1998 and 2001 that made it look like they were just trying to be absolutely sure. But they were correct. It was not a face. It was a rock and a bit of light trickery. Number 15. Lizard. Lizards are definitely one of the more hardy and robust animals we have here on Earth. After all, they've been around since at least the Triassic period, so about 260 million years to our knowledge. So would you be all that surprised to learn that lizards live on Mars? Probably not. Out of all animals to survive and thrive in a desolate landscape, they would be at the top of the list. In 2016, alien hunters browsing photos taken by NASA's Mars Curiosity rover identified what looked like a horned reptile on the red planet. According to Joseph White from Art Alien TV, the lizard was about half an inch and appeared to have tiny horns and a beak. He believed that it might also have some kind of shell and may have been frozen and preserved when the atmosphere was destroyed. Joseph said that it was also likely the lizard was nothing more than an oddly shaped rock, but stated that anything was possible as he had found other things like animal skulls and huge buildings. Surprisingly, this is not the first time someone has spotted something that looked like a lizard in photos from Mars. A fossilized iguana was supposed supposedly seen in several photos, and there have been at least a dozen other supposed animal pictures. UFO Sightings Daily site owner Scott Waring said he once found a rock that moved four times across four photos, then disappeared in the fifth. What do you think? Do lizards live on Mars? Number 14. Humanoid Mars has long been viewed as a possible second home when we've finished destroying this planet. That's probably one of the reasons why NASA keeps sending exploration rovers there, to check out its viability for us to go and live there. But could it be that someone has already moved there? It's laughable, but one picture has had people losing their minds since 2007. NASA's Mars Exploration Rover Spirit captured an image from a low plateau that showed red sand, lots of rocks, and then a woman sitting on one of those rocks, or possibly walking. Wait, what? That's right, there's a clear photo of something that definitely looks like a human figure, even showing an arm, body, and head. Mars is about 34 million miles away, so it's not like anyone could just get on a plane and go live there, but it sure did get people talking. Still, astronomers did have to weigh in and put some absurd theories to bed. They said it's not a person, it's just a rock. Gotta stop our minds from playing tricks on us. Number 13. Giant Crab 
Mars has a lot of rocks, and a lot of them are strange shapes due to the wind, erosion, and whatever else scientists have found there. But one rock captured many people's attention when NASA's Mars Curiosity rover took a picture of it in 2015. It looked like the entrance to a cave with a giant crab guarding it. I know, I know, that is oddly specific, but I see where people are coming from when they draw this conclusion. The rock face does appear to dip inward, with something large and with possibly spindly limbs sprawled out across the front. When news agencies zoomed in on the NASA-supplied photo, I wasn't entirely convinced that it was an innocent rock. And neither were a lot of people. Some people insisted that it was, in fact, a giant crab, and that Mars must have a crab population. Others wondered whether it was a Patella vulgata seashell, which is a type of sea snail from waters surrounding Western Europe. Then people started weighing in with a few more absurd ideas, such as an alien face hugger, a rock lobster, a door, and crab people. One person even wondered if it was Donald Trump in his natural state of existence. People really manage to insert politics into everything, don't they? Oh, and so what was it? A rock, of course. Number 12. A Thigh Bone in August 2014, NASA's Curiosity rover captured quite a unique photo on its mast cam. At first, it just looks like a whole heap of little rocks buried in the sand or dust, but one stands out more than the rest. One of those rocks looks like a femur bone. And when you look at a picture of a human femur bone and then compare it to that photo, you can see how many people would think it is a thigh bone. It does look quite white and has those noticeable bone-like features. The mere possibility that it might be a bone got alien enthusiasts excited, but I'm here to set the record straight. It's just a rock, like most things on Mars. NASA spokespeople said that the rock was shaped in the way it was due to wind or water erosion. They also said they understood how the odd shapes of some rocks on Mars could stir up public imagination, but it was certainly not a bone. Scientists stated that if life did exist on Mars, the life forms would be small, known as microbes, rather than large, complex organisms. Mars probably never even had enough oxygen to support complex organisms, which means large fossils are not likely. Although, they said not likely, not impossible, so yeah, we'll leave that one to you. Number 11. Metal Objects at the end of January in 2013, the Curiosity rover took photos of Mars with two mast cam cameras and sent them back for us to look at. I love science. Now, most photos we see of Mars are pretty much the same. Some red, dusty, sandy stuff, a few rocks, and that's pretty much it. But one photo was different. In it, it showed something huge, horn-like, and shiny. So shiny, in fact, that it didn't really look like any lighting or shadow trickery was at play. Instead, it looked more like metal. Elisabetta Bonaroa from Alive Universe Images noticed the object within the photo database of the Curiosity rover and said the unidentified object took up about 35 pixels in the frame. The mast cam cameras have a resolution of 150 microns per pixel at a 2 meter distance, which means the thing could be up to a foot tall. I didn't do the math on that, but it sounds legit. People immediately began speculating about what it could be. Some say it was likely iron from a meteorite, which would make sense with the low oxygen levels on Mars not causing oxidation. Others believe it might just be something that has grown on the rock. We may never know. Number 10. A Spoon Hey, tell your mom we've found her missing soup spoon. It was on Mars all along. Photos taken from the Curiosity rover in 2016 were all pretty standard, except one. YouTube user UFO Hunter found something half buried in the dust in the pictures that looked out of place, especially when compared to all the other rocks around. It was a spoon, or at least it looked like a spoon. The object stood out with a long handle and a spoon-shaped end. Depending on which angle you looked at it from, it looked like no ordinary rock. It even had a slight curvature in the handle to make it easier to hold. Surprisingly, that's not even the first spoon that's been identified on the Red Planet. Is Mars stealing all our cutlery? Another one popped up in late 2015 that appeared to be defying gravity and casting a shadow. Well, I guess we can cross dinnerware off our list of things to take to Mars when we begin colonizing it. Number 9. Little Colon Say I love shiny things, and it appears that NASA does too, because in 2018, they were trying to get to the bottom of what they had discovered in an area of Mars they described as the Highfield Drill Site. 
The Curiosity rover had picked up something that looked unlike the surrounding rocks. It was like a little shiny nugget, and the NASA team called it Little Colonsay, with the plan to try and get a better look at it to find out what it was. The planning team at NASA believed it might be a meteorite due to how shiny it was, but they're also well aware that looks can be deceiving. They plan to explore its chemistry, which might give them insight into what it's made up of. To do this, they would need to rely on Curiosity's ChemCam, a complex suite of instruments including a laser, spectrographs, and a camera. These tools help NASA analyze rocks and soil on Mars, which will help them figure out whether it's a meteorite or something else. I wish it were something unidentified just for the shock factor, but it's probably what they assume it to be. In the same way that they identified a strange, flake-like object in 2018 as nothing more than a piece of Martian rock. Number 8. Morse Code Are aliens on Mars trying to communicate with us? Uh, no, they're not, but how cool would that be? In 2016, NASA photographed some unique, dark dunes that looked like dots and dashes of the Morse code. They spelled out this message. Ni Ned ZB 6 TNN D Bed C F E B C E C C, which is, of course, a pretty deep and emotional message from the planet. The Morse code is naturally formed, just like the sand dunes we have here on Earth, with each carved out by different wind directions. Bidirectional winds form the long dashes, which means the wind travels to the dunes at right angles. The dots are called Barchinoid dunes, and geophysicists think these are created when something interrupts the formation of linear dunes. Although NASA isn't sure what is interrupting them from becoming linear dunes, which is why they decided to capture all these incredible photos. They wanted to see if they could solve the mystery. In the future, geophysicists hope to learn more about how the dunes form on Mars so that they can get to the bottom of the planet's habitability potential. Number 7. Fish-Shaped Rock Our Arctic Ocean is pretty big. Even if it is our smallest and shallowest ocean, it is still millions of square miles, which is just absolutely enormous. So what if I was to tell you that Mars once had a primitive ocean larger than that? Researchers think the ocean's volume that existed about 4.3 billion years ago would have been around 5 million cubic miles, which could cover the entire surface of the planet in 450 feet of water. Of course, the photos we see today are much different. All we're looking at is a whole bunch of rocks and a lot of dust and sand. But if there was an ocean, could there have been fish? Possibly. I mean, just look at that photo. A raw image was shared online by NASA in 2016 that came directly from the Curiosity rover without any editing. It looks like a whole lot of rocks, but if you look near the bottom center of the photo, you'll spot something that looks exactly like a fish. Almost like it was swimming around in the ocean before it dried up. It has a very accurate fish form, including an upturned nose and finned tail. And people even highlighted it in color to show just how amazingly similar the outline was to an actual fish or whale. I mean, NASA says it's a rock, but what do they know? Number 6. Jelly Donut It takes a lot to stump NASA. Whenever we say we see a lizard or a tomb on the red planet, they say, no, it's just a rock, and we're left feeling a bit disappointed. But for them to be quoted saying, it's like nothing we've ever seen before, and I don't know what any of this means, we're completely confused, you just know we're onto something good. Okay, so let's get into it. In 2014, a rock mysteriously appeared in front of the Opportunity rover that hadn't been there just 13 days earlier. It was like it just appeared out of nowhere and didn't even look like an ordinary rock. The rover the rover's lead scientist at Cornell University, Steve Squires, said it looks like a jelly donut. It was white on the outside and red in the middle. They had no idea where it had come from and only knew that it just plain appeared on the spot without an explanation. The rock was found on Murray Ridge, which is on the edges of one of the Endeavor Crater's walls. This was where the opportunity was spending the Martian winter. NASA decided to use the rover's arm-mounted instruments to learn more about the random rock. And that's when they discovered it was like nothing they had ever seen before. It had high sulfur, magnesium, and manganese content unlike what they had seen on Mars before. Steve Squires said they're completely confused, but having a wonderful time. Although they did theorize that it was likely one of the rover's wheels flicked it up since rocks don't just appear out of nowhere. Number 5. Blueberries when the Opportunity rover touched down on Mars in 2004, it identified something odd. These small, iron-rich circles that looked a bit like blueberries. Eventually, they were found to be hematite, which are mineral compounds with iron and oxygen, although that may not have always been the case. 
Studies of similar minerals here on Earth have scientists questioned whether they may have been hydrohematite, the same iron oxide minerals, but ones that contain microscopic traces of ancient water. If that theory is proven to be accurate, researchers would have even more evidence to suggest that there was once a substantial water reservoir in that area, and that the now dusty, red, dry planet was once wet and blue like Earth. When hydrohematite samples in a mineral collection were examined, researchers concluded that the iron atoms in some of the minerals had been replaced with hydroxyl, a hydrogen and oxygen group that only comes from stored water. It's believed that maybe hydrohematite crystals were formed from ancient Mars's watery conditions. Number 4. Dust Devils a 2005 NASA science report described how, just like Earth, Mars experiences dust devils. However, the warmer temperatures on the red planet make them even more impressive. NASA even said that when humans visit Mars, they'll need to watch out for towering, electrified dust devils. It can be hard to imagine what those dust devils actually look like, but the Opportunity rover managed to capture some pictures of them on its navigation camera. They showed the rover's tire tracks with a rising tower of dust in the distance. The last dust devil before this one to be captured on Mars was in 2012 from the camera of the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. It showed a top-down image of a dust devil reaching 12 miles high. Apparently, the shadowing of the Mars dust devils allows them to reach incredible heights. Researchers think that the temperature difference between shadowed and sunlit soil causes extra dust grains to be launched into the air due to the movement of gases. Number 3. An Avalanche you may not realize it, because I certainly didn't, but there's ice on Mars. It's dusty and can melt, but it's there. And what often happens to ice? Well, it can end up in an avalanche. Believe it or not, there have been avalanches on the red planet, and we've even been able to capture pictures of them happening. In 2019, the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter captured high-resolution images not far from the North Pole of Mars. The cameras have been orbiting around the planet for a decade, and every now and again, we get sent back pictures of the landscape. In spring, the sun shines on the north polar layer deposits of the North Pole, and sometimes warmth destabilizes the ice and causes it to break loose. When this happens, there's a big, red, dusty avalanche. In the photos, large ice blocks are tumbling down a 1,640-foot cliff face, leaving a massive dust cloud in its wake. The photos also show the North Polar Cap's top layer, but each layer can be a different texture and color depending on the volume of dust mixed with ice. Number 2. Dragon Scales if you've seen one photo of Mars, you've seen them all. But you may not have seen a picture of Mars quite like this one. It almost looks like dragon scales. NASA released the incredible photo in 2017 with the title Dragon Scales of Mars. So even they knew that it looked remarkable. Of course, we know it's not actually dragon scales, so what is it? It doesn't look like any Mars we know. NASA says that the unique surface texture is what happens when rocks interact with water. Over time, the rock erodes and is exposed to the surface. The pink, scale-like texture is Martian bedrock that has become a clay-bearing rock. But NASA doesn't have all the answers. They don't know the type of water responsible for this effect or how it interacted with the rock to form the clay. That might be why NASA NASA is super interested in altered rocks on Mars and understanding how they happen. When they get to the bottom of it, they may have a better idea of what the past climate of Mars was like and whether it ever harbored any life. Number 1. Lava Coils in 2012, NASA's high-rise spacecraft was orbiting around Mars living its best life when it discovered something interesting. There were crazy corkscrew snail shell-like patterns that researchers identified as rare lava flows that had never been seen on Mars before. The spacecraft saw the formations in a tear-shaped landform called Athabasca Valles that scientists believe was created through immense flooding. We've seen these lava coils here on Earth before around the Big Island of Hawaii and even at the bottom of the Pacific ocean, but never on Mars, and never of that size. The ones we have here are usually only around one foot in size, but the ones on Mars appear to be about a hundred feet across. They form when two lava flows move past each other in different directions and at different speeds. The lava starts to bunch up and swirl before hardening and leaving behind those unique patterns. It seems like no matter how much time passes, we still keep learning so many cool things about Mars. We've spent a lot of time exploring Mars, even though it's from a distance.
existence, and yet there's so much we still can't confirm about the Red Planet. Do you think it's possible for us to colonize it and live there? Would you want to live there? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.